Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today I will try to show you how and when you can use scratch block which is called when stage clicked. And this one is the last, I think, I hope, of this series, this playlist, this explain scratch blocks tutorials. Okay, so so far we have used sprites which we have created on our own here in costumes then draw it or upload it from our desktop computer or internet or we took them from this scratch library and that's all cool we have coded into them but very interesting and important thing, feature in Scratch is that you can also code when you are in stage, in backdrop, in that mode. So currently I am in cat, if I click on bear sprite, ball sprite, wizard girl, I will change the sprites. But when I click on the stage and pick backdrop first or second in our case I can go to code and I have also empty coding window here and code blocks which are specific to that stage backdrop stage selected no motion blocks why is that so because the stage cannot move in terms like the sprite can i can have motion blocks for the sprite but when i select the stage there are no motion blocks i have the looks blocks i can switch backdrop and so on i had them some of them i think most of them are all also here when i select sprite i can switch backdrop and so on so those are not exclusive to backdrops i can have them in my sprite also which is great but other than that i can also find this one when the stage clicked which is equivalent same as when this sprite clicked when you select a sprite and you click on events block look how this when this sprite clicked will change when I go to stage it will become when the stage is clicked instead of when the sprite is clicked so just to be aware that you can code in stage backdrop and also create variables operators we have explained that all of that for the sprite same works for the backdrop stage which is great and one i think the only maybe there are more is this when the stage is clicked so it works in as in the same way as this when the sprite is clicked but we will uh, try to use it anyway maybe yeah change the color i can try that also that's probably exclusive to the stage anyway let's concentrate on this one when the stage is clicked so the stage in our case is this arctic and we can show or hide it and uh, no like this it doesn't work sorry uh, but we can change it here and hide it or pick another backdrop that's all cool but sometimes i don't have a good example sometimes you will need to make your stage your backdrop background interactive that means you can click on it and it will respond you can click for example let me check some backdrops yeah you can click on maybe yeah we can maybe pick a bedroom and when i click on um yeah but it would be difficult i don't want to confuse you to recognize that 
I'm clicking on bed because bed is not sprite here, bed is background. So I will stick to this one. But anyway, try to find some examples and maybe write down in comment. I will make maybe something like this. When the player clicks on the backdrop instead of the cat, which is the enemy, there will be some kind of sound or message saying, hey, do not waste your spells, click on the enemy, not the background, something like that. Um, how to do that? Yeah, we don't have sound for that, but we can just imagine we have it and use some other sound like pop or something like that yeah okay so or yeah you can create this sound by recording a sound and you can click record we haven't learned that and say do not click on me or something like that or i don't know shazam or whatever um in my case i will just use the pop sound pop. but when when the stage is clicked so let me try my game now wizard girl and the ball the spell is working the same but when i click on the background it will yeah so you can see when i click on the background anywhere on the background i can see pop pop i can hear sorry this works as it supposed to but when i clicking imagine just uh, instead of pop you hear uh, or see some kind of sprite which says hey don't click on me hey shazam uh, uh, click on the cat instead, click on the enemy, shoot the enemy, not the background, something like that. So sometimes you will need it and there are lots of code options here. I have used this one because we don't have it for sprites, but try to come with some ideas how to use all of those. Uh, that's it for this video as i said this one is i think i hope the last one in this explaining scratch blocks series and i think i haven't explained only those code blocks for um uh, yeah those are extensions so we won't learn them now i will make uh, new special tutorials on music pen video sensing and so on because those are extensions we have i think we have covered all of those if we haven't i will check them once more to see what we are missing um, but so far yeah it was a long long uh, series lots of mistakes i made and it should be better i know but it's good enough for start. I will make maybe a short recap on uh, on it later. Currently too tired for it, but I think we have done a great job and it will serve us to grow together more in the future. It can only get better. Uh, see you in the uh, next videos. Uh, we're not stopping with scratch videos, uh, quite opposite, lots of new stuff coming, uh, better videos, shorter videos for you to follow, uh, full game tutorials, not scratch all, uh, only, but also game maker, maybe some more complex game engines, but the same principles, the same rules applies to all of them. If you learn the ropes, if you learn the basics, you can just switch from one to another without a problem that's it uh, thanks again uh, for watching this video and whole uh, scratch blocks series and uh, keep on scratching keep on making games in scratch or whatever you use to turn your ideas into reality
Uh, bye for now and see you soon.